Well, we called it Heroin Island because it just is a giant campground of heroin needles everywhere. So, I mean, it had all the amenities that a heroin junkie would need, including extra syringes and saline and clothes and whatever else. Any kid goes over there and then they see a campground, they're going to want to rummage through it and, you know, see what cool things they can find. And then if anybody gets stabbed with a dirty needle, then they're going to be affected by AIDS or HIV or something worse for the rest of their lives. We called 311 yeah. and then the bylaw ca officers came out and they said they were going to come clean it up. And they kind of just stood at the edge of the street and stared at the island for about an hour and then just said that they couldn't really do anything about it because they couldn't figure out how to get over there. And they didn't give us any information of how to contact anybody or anything. And they just said, well, it's crown land. You know, if it floods again, it'll be all washed away. So and then they left. I think that's absolutely remarkable because, I mean, nobody was willing to do anything for so long and then that's why I got the idea to shoot a video. What better than to get a ton of attention from everybody, especially mothers who are worried about their kids and then finally, you know, enough attention gets arose that somebody's going to come over and do something about it.